Hi everyone, it's Clarice and today is Saturday so it's time for another Saturday Reads. This week I managed to read four books, the first three of which I read as part of the Cramathon, which is a readathon created by witty novels where they just had to read as much as possible even if it meant reading a bunch of shorter books or quicker books. I won't talk about those books at all because I just posted a Cramathon wrap up which I will link down below. But just for your reference, those three books that I read were The Little Prince, Identical by Ellen Hopkins, and Men Explain Things to Me by Rebecca Solnit. The fourth and final book I managed to finish reading this week so far was the first book in the Silo series by Hugh Howey. Wolf. I'm not sure if you'd consider it dystopian or post-apocalyptic, but let's just say that it's sci-fi. But it's set in this underground building sort of thing called the silo where this whole civilization lives. And I don't want to say much about it because I guess it's better for you to learn about this world while you read the book. I didn't like it that much. I'm not going to say that I hated it. I actually talked a bit more about it in my Goodreads review which I'll link down below. I think the main part of this book that kind of took away from my reading experience is that I was never ever fully convinced of this world. I never just got so into this book and so invested in this book and was so convinced that this world was real. Because even though you're reading fiction and you know none of it's real, you know when you're reading a book you want it to feel real and this just didn't ever to me. There were just too many holes I think in the concept and too many issues and inconsistencies in the way people were acting. And overall I just didn't enjoy it enough for me to be able to say that I liked it. Currently, I am still kind of technically listening to the autobiography of Neil Patrick Harris, though I don't think I listened to it much at all this week. But yesterday, I also started reading Mostly Harmless, the fifth and final book in the Hitchhiker's Guide series by Douglas Adams. I'm hoping to finish this today, and if not today, tomorrow, so I can finally, finally finish this series. As you may or may not know, Armada by Ernest Cline, which is his second novel ever, came out this week. And the last time I checked the bookstores, it just wasn't there, which made me so sad. So if tomorrow when I go to the mall and I go to the bookstores, I find it and I buy it, I'll read that next week. But if I'm not able to read that or if I'm able to read that fairly quickly, the books that I plan to read after that are the books that I've been in the middle of for a while now and I just feel like I should probably finish those books before I get to other books. And those books are Book of Sith, which I've been in the middle of because it's not a novel and you don't necessarily need to read it chronologically. But I want to finish it. I'll read the rest of the things. I'll learn to be a Sith. Why not? And The Host by Stephanie Meyer. I got about a third of the way through a month or two ago and I stopped it for reasons. I don't remember. Even though it's fairly thick, I remember it being a fairly quick read. So hopefully I can get through that this week. And hopefully after that I can finally read A Feast for Crows. Fourth book in the Song of Ice and Fire series. Not expecting it to blow my mind just because I love Storm of Swords so much. But it's still George R. R. Martin. It's still A Song of Ice and Fire and I'm really, really looking forward to it. Anyway, those are the books I read this week, what I'm currently reading, and what I plan to read next week. What have you been reading? Please leave it in the comments down below. I'm always interested to hear about the books that you're currently reading. Please like this video if you liked it. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!